Okay, you can see until recently this ditch had some water in it, but when people start cutting their hay, they turn out a lot of the water so it doesn't leak and make the equipment get stuck. That pole that you see right there, there would be other sticks up against it, and probably either a blue or an orange plastic dam would be put in there to make the water build up high. I'm going to do my best to try to find some of that. Alright, here, here we are at one of the head gates. I believe I filmed this two months ago for you. If either us or our neighbor were using the water right now, that would be pulled out and the water would go ahead and go down this ditch. As you can see, it's empty, not being used. This over here is called the waste gate. That's where excess water is currently going back into the canal. It will go on down the canal for other people to use. Let me show you up here. Water coming through. And this is the water going down the waste gate. And then that will meander down to the canal. And this is the water going down the waste gate. And then that will meander down to the canal. Canal's just moving right out there. Alright, this is looking eastward. This is the main ditch that comes through the area called the Byington Ditch. It goes under that little roadway there and spews out here. The area I just filmed a moment ago is right over there. That water's going towards our area, but not really anybody's using it. As it looks like, right here, it's going over the spillway. Oops, there we go. And it's heading on down to our neighbors, or at least my parents' neighbors, to the north. Remember, you do have to pay for water shares, and you do, it's like a tax to use the water. And farmers are pretty good about sharing the water, calling each other, letting each other know when they're done or when they're using it. So you try to cooperate and you work with other people. On my parents' farm, they aren't currently irrigating anything, but across the street, my, well, let me just show you. My parents' home and farm is over on that side of the street, on the other side of those great big trees right there. This is our neighbor, just across the highway, and he has been irrigating recently, you can tell. Here you see that there's a pole that goes across, and then you have some sticks that go right there that act as kind of a backup. And then you have a large pole inside that blue dam right there. And then over there, let me zoom in on a barbed wire fence here, so you've got to be careful. Looks like he uses rocks to hold the dam edge down. We used to use pegs that were tied to the dam to hold it in. And then let me go over here and see it on this side. And what happens is the water flows in there and it gets right up to the top of that dam and it makes it deep enough so that down there, it's like he had some tubes going earlier, right down there. Maybe I'll take a quick drive down there and show you the tubes up close. All right, we went down the lane just a little bit right there, and there's his tubes. This is kind of unusual, though. I have never seen white plastic tubes like that for irrigation. We have always used metal aluminum ones. But uh, apparently this might be something new that they're trying. But anyway, I don't know if we can see it very clearly, but you put some kind of a, a covering on the end. We use old inner tubes, whatever he's used, and I can't quite tell. But then it creates a vacuum, and then you put the tube into the ditch full of water. You can see how high the water was at one time. And then you just suck it out, just like you're sucking a drink through a straw, and then it will spread out 
over the field. There's his field. This is grain right here. I'm not sure if it's wheat or barley, but it's one of the two. There you can see there's a higher piece of uh, dirt right there. That's again called the dike. That helps keep the water shooting down one area, and there's one on this side as well. If you didn't have that, the water would just go all over the place, but by having those there, it shoots it down and focuses it into one area. As we were out driving around and just enjoying the countryside, we ran across this field right here. Uh, a lot of people aren't irrigating right now because they're cutting their hay, and we've had such wet weather up here in eastern Idaho that uh, we just are having a hard time finding people who are really doing a lot of flood irrigating. But this is one exception. The dam is not set here. They've, this must be the end of the ditch, and so it naturally forms a dam. But as you can see, the farmer who runs this has pulled this slide right there. You can hear the water gurgling out into the field, and it spreads out over the field and just floods it, just really, really soaks it. And uh, again, this is called flood irrigation.